Should I start an academy? Should I start Hello Composers University? I can see it now. Students walking with their books, walking up to the stairs. The Hello Composers University in the uh, Eric Copeland Hall uh, that where they eat their lunch. No. Uh, or I, I could just call it the Eric Copeland School for the Monetarily Needy and Compositionally Challenged. But this is the video I said I would never make. And in some ways, I still haven't made it and still am not making it. Um, because I have a video in my, in my channels that I wanted to call the video I would never make. And that's when I start some kind of academy or something. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I, 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 I've said many times on this channel, I have no idea how to monetize this thing. Um, but nevertheless, I'm selling eBooks. I'm doing consulting for people. I'm teaching on zoom. I'm making a little from Google AdSense. Um, so there is money coming in from this channel, but if you are any kind of person wanting to make music income and you're, you're following this channel, you know that I look at every opportunity to make uh, income from the music things that I do. And so the other problem is I've had people come to me repeatedly and uh, even this week, it seems to have picked up people coming up to me and asking about some form of consulting. And already, folks, my time is stretched to its limits. If you if you watch my schedule, you know I have limited hours to even do that. The people like Shane, um, who who have done consulting with me, you know that that calendar is pretty full. And really, I'm going to have to now cut out more hours because these lives, which are a big part of this channel, um, talking to you here and making these videos is one way I can continue to get content out every Friday, uh, in addition to my podcast and then other videos I do, but people have been coming up and asking, can I, can I consult? Do you have other things that I can get involved with? And so today I want to talk about some ideas I have to take this channel or this whole make music income thing and, and hello composers as well. I want to take this thing to the next level as a teacher, as a guide, a mentor, a leader, and general grand Poobah or something bigger. Um, is there anything bigger than the Grand Poobah? I don't know. But uh, I just want to talk about what an academy would look like with me and why that may or may not even work out for me or for you. Um, then I'll discuss a few other options I have. I've got some ideas. So let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. The Make Music Income Academy. A few weeks ago, Steve and I joked, I accidentally called uh, the, the Make the Production Music Income Academy or something like that. I mixed our two things up. So let's just get this one out of the way, the whole academy idea, because I really think it's probably, or at least for me, maybe a little dumb. Uh, maybe not. And you can tell me what you think. And make sure if you're in the chat right now, you, you give me your, your full your full thoughts and comments on this and why you think it'd be a good idea or not. But the whole basis behind my channel is that I share my experiences making music income and experiences and the experience I've had to make music income. That's why you're here right now. You want to know how to make music income. So let's just talk this academy out and what it might offer and what and what I think I might already offer that it could offer. Did that even make sense? All right. Well, let's go move right into the first thing that usually these academies offer. And one thing would be courses. Now, my goal for this channel is to reach a very large demographic of not only composers, but also artists, arrangers, educators, publishers, and players, anyone interested in making income from music. And I know we talk about licensing a lot on here, but um, as I talk about on my Hello Composers channel, there's more than just li than just income about this whole thing. We, we live and we breathe these music topics. So um, I'm already planning a course, and this will be kind of like my first flagship course, of all the ways that I make music income and how I got to each. 
and kind of a lesson, something that won't grow old, you know, licensing itself. Uh, you got to be careful how you talk about it because it changes on a daily basis or weekly basis. And um, But general music occupations don't change. Being a teacher, being um, a composer, being uh, an artist, those, those things don't change over time. I mean, maybe the minutia of how to do each one changes, but it doesn't change the fact that you can do them and how I have done them. And so I want to talk about that in a course. So I've already got a course planned. Now, I understand what Steve does where he puts a puts courses together for the people in his academy and puts them kind of behind the academy wall so that people will join the academy. It's very smart. It's it's monthly income. I get it. Yearly income. And uh, but I, I think I'm leaning towards more just putting the courses out, like I put the ebooks out, and just saying, "This is this is courses available to you. It's forty nine dollars or whatever." And I, I I'm I'm looking at all the other channels. And while I'm here, let me just go ahead and list some of the academies and channels that I think are great and you should check into. Certainly, Stevie B's Production Music Academy. You should absolutely be checking that out. You should absolutely be um, watching that. There he is right there. Make Music Production Music Income Money Academy. <laughs> yes, uh, Steve and I are merging into one huge academy. Well, we're not doing that, not yet. But uh, I do want to give uh, super props out to um, Mr. Stevie B. Good morning. Thanks for being here, Stevie. Um, and his Production Music Academy. You really need to check that out. And uh, that's you can find his his links down below in in the description. As always, I, I put his and all the people I'm going to talk about pretty much in the descriptions below. But um, I do want to just mention his academy. I want to mention Dave Cross 52 Q's community. I want to mention uh, Stephen Malin and his video game creators community. I want to mention Clint Music and his community. And who am I missing? There was someone else I'm missing down here that I talked about. Um, all of them are great. And, um, oh, and Daniel, um, Daniel, Daniel, Car Daniel Carzales, um, and his, his stock music community, all of these communities I have either learned from, been in, uh, Jesse and Sync Academy. I've been a part of that. All of these courses and these, these, these memberships or these academies, a lot of academies, um, they're, they're great. And I've been part of quite a few of them. I'm part of Stevie B's right now. I get in there and watch out and sometimes get involved in the, uh, in some of the, the challenges. And that's another thing they do is the challenges. And that's pretty cool. Another thing that is offered in these academies is eBooks. Well, obviously I'm already offering eBooks. My second eBook comes out very soon and I have another one planned right after that. As soon as I can get them written, um, for me right now, I don't see a reason to put them behind an academy wall, but I could. I could do that if you think that's a better way. Um, the next ebook is about sync, and I think the ebook after that is going to be about my journey as a music producer and how to build a, a five or six figure music producing career. If you have ideas for ebooks, by the way, just put them in the comments or the chat or whatever. I'd love to. I'd love to write those down and, and think about it. And while I'm talking about ebooks, and I gotta remember to do my titles. I'm not doing very good on my titles. While I'm talking about ebooks, I have to talk about the stock market, why, where, how, when, who, how to submit your music to stock music licensing if you are watching this. And I, I say this because I know there are a lot of new people that watch this channel and they may not have heard about this. Um, as I was developing this channel, I, I thought it might be good for people to have a resource to hit, uh, to go to, to find the direct links to the stock market, um, the stock music libraries like Pond5 and Motion Array, but all of them, and try your luck at all of them and see which ones work. Um, I list my experience. I talk about each library and, you know, it's my experience. It's my, it's my theory. Um, it's my experience on how I uh, got into each of the libraries or didn't get into those libraries. So you can find that at makemusicincome.com slash stock market. 
Okay, so let's talk about the next thing that is on a possible Make Music Income Academy. We're talking about the theoretical Make Music Income Academy that does not exist and um, may or may not ever exist. But the next thing that's really valuable, I think, in these academies and these, these things is internal dialogue and the communication and community that you can have with everybody in the academy. And I think that's very special. I, I, I get it. And it's very cool. And Steve or Daniels or Dave, they, they have these community things they do. Steve does his, um, his, his challenges every month and they do Zooms and things like that. And they, they just have a community that, and they can talk to each other inside of, um, of the Mighty Networks app or whatever they are using, which most people are using the Mighty Networks app for these things. I think that's cool. I think that's great. Um, but uh, the problem is, or the blessing, is that I already have this giant Make Music Income Discord, which was given to me by Steve, as a matter of fact, because he was starting his academy. And so, um, and by the way, make sure you join the Discord. You can find it in the description below uh, of this video and uh, join in the conversation. 800, we're just about at 800. When I sent a message out today to everyone, it was almost at 800 people. Uh, that are in that thing or in and out of that thing. You can get free feedback there. You can ask questions. You can answer questions. You can just hang out. It's a great place to be. It's kind of like Facebook. If Facebook wasn't anything but just talking about music and publishing and licensing and how to make better music, how to get better at making music, all of those things. So beside the fact that I don't know if I even have the time to keep up an academy with my schedule because I've seen how much work Steve puts into it and it is a lot. He talks about it all the time. Um, I'm not sure that I, I would need a place for people to hang out since I have the Discord and and yes, the Discord is 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 can be uh, crazy and who, anybody can get in there so who knows who will say what sometimes. Um, we're very lucky because usually it's uh, people behave themselves very nicely, but in the academy you do have a little bit more um, control over that and and can it can be a tighter knit community. But uh, I kind of feel like I have a little bit of that with the Discord anyway. And then the other part about an academy, and this is something that Steve does in his and most of the academies do, is they have Zoom discussions. And uh, so this will kind of lead us to the next option that I'm going to talk about besides an actual academy. But another great thing about these academies is these, these Zoom once a month or however often they do it, meetings where everybody in the, in the academy can meet face to face and ask questions and uh, in a Zoom type meeting. It's totally cool. I get it. And um, I've been part of those. Those are very fun. And this is one thing that I just might add and want to talk about this next for this year and see what you think. But uh, I, I think that can be something I can add on without having to do an academy. So what do you think? The Make Music Academy, uh, does it work for Make Music Income and, and what I talk about? Does it work or make sense for Hello Composers? Um, Personally, I'm not sure it does, but I'd love your feedback. So let's get some feedback now and look, dig into the chat here and see what people are saying. Um, Arco says, I'm surprised the first thing that came up in Eric's mind about Academy is lunch. Uh, okay. <laughs> lunch usually comes up first in my... Um, so uh, Stevie B's in the house. Yeah, he's got a lot of things. Um Shane Jensen said, I think a Hello Compastor, Composer Mastermind for 12 weeks, once a week would be cool. Limited numbers like six or eight by Zoom. This is where we're going to talk about next. This is exactly something that I've been thinking about. Um, I used to do this, and I'll, I'll talk about that next, but thank you for that. Um, probably not the Make Production Music Income Money Academy. Uh, not yet. So <laughs> that got a few giggles here. Um, Let's see here. What's next? Uh, Argo says, after seeing Eric's to-do list, he is surely ran out of time. Yes, that's for sure. Um, ISO, thanks for joining today. Good to see you here. Um, 
Murfreesboro Guitar says, I really like how Jesse's Sync Academy social app works. And Stevie says, yes, absolutely. Academy members are always helping each other out. I personally think that the Discord can live alongside any potential community that you build that's behind a paywall. Okay, cool. Uh, Arco says, nothing can replace face-to-face -face discussion, I think. Or fate-to-face. Hmm, that sounds like a song. Fate-to-face. I like that. Uh, Daniel, thanks for being here today. He says, absolutely. Um, so let's move right into the next thing that I want to talk about here. And that basically, uh, and before I do that, I just want to remind you, if you're on this on this uh, discussion, you're watching this here, and you love this stuff, you, you, you've you come to make music income and you want to be part of things. And a good way to keep part of things is to be on our email list. And the way you can do that is get free stuff. Um, and I didn't even create a, a banner for this, but um, I have lots of different things. I have, um, okay, I gotta make, producing. <laughs> now I can't even remember the name of my own channel, makemusicincome.com. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate that. Um, just remember that I have uh, a channel. Or, or courses and, and all sorts of things that are already out there free. And you can find them at makemusicincome.com slash free. I have my Make Music Income, uh, 50 Ways to Make Music Income ebook, totally free, a lot of good things in there. I have the Pond5 upload video course. If you're just thinking about getting in Pond5, you want to go get that, and you can find that here. I have the free my free research paper, The Ubiquitous Style, Form, and Instrumentation of corporate stock music, that gets way more downloads than I ever thought it would. So all of that is at makemusicincome.com slash free. Oh, also um, my new checklist, my what to do next checklist is, or how to, how to take everything that you do and take it all and do all the things all the time for every song. You can find that also at makemusicincome.com. That's new. And so get one of these if you don't have it. And make sure on the email list because the new ebook's coming out. And I want to make sure you know about that. And I just like having you in the email list. I think that's a great way for me to let you know when videos are coming out and all those kind of things. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is mastermind groups. Uh, Shane already mentioned this. And this is something that I've been thinking of as a way to... Uh, stay in touch with people face to face, like consulting, but offer them a way to um, to talk with me, to have weekly updates on what we are doing. And this may be two different groups. We'll talk about that in a moment. But um, I did this a couple years ago with a bunch of clients I had as I was transitioning from uh, Creative Soul Records and being a record producer to really focusing on licensing more. I started convincing my clients that that was a better end game for them as well. And so we would do an hour long Zoom every Monday at noon. I don't know if the, these when these will be and we'll have to talk about that. But although it seems like most of my community is available around this time every day. Um, so I would catch the group up on what had happened to me that week, especially in licensing because we were focused on licensing for that. And then I would find out where they were on their journey and they would give me a little update where they were. So everybody got to kind of kind of talk and, and, and talk about where they were and what challenges they're having. And then I would have a, a short lesson, not a long lesson like these usually are on this channel, on these lives or on Hello Composers, but uh, something about just a quick lesson about what I've something I'm on about that week, just like this video, but a little bit more focused on those people that are in that mastermind. And uh, in some ways, this is very much like this video. Um, every Friday I have these lives, and I talk about things, I answer questions, and I, I talk about what's on my mind, what's what I'm dealing with and thinking about. Um, the only problems with it are people have to um, participate. Um, as far as here in this live situation, I'm talking about the problems with these live videos. These live videos are great, but it's just me talking. Um, I, it's hard to sometimes know what people are saying in the conversations that are going on. Sometimes conversations are going on between people and that's confusing, not just for me, but for the people who are watching live. Um, I can't see your face. 
I can't see your expressions when you're when I say something or when uh, when I'm funny. I can't see you laughing hysterically, which I know is happening all the time. Um, I I can't uh, I can't hear your voice. I can't hear you say something or or I, I would much rather hear you say your comment than read your comment. And uh, I can't really get updates from everybody because it would take forever to go through that and have discussions with people through live. So um, I've already had discussions about this with some people and Shane just bringing it up is perfect. Um, if you are interested in a, a mastermind, uh, please email me at the link below, ma uh, makemusicincome at gmail.com or hellocomposers at gmail.com. I'm trying to decide if there's enough for two separate masterminds. And for those of you who say, oh, you could do it all in one mastermind. No, I couldn't. Because there's lessons about making income and there's lessons about composing and they need to be separate for me personally. Um, I can't talk about composing things on this channel. I've tried uh, to, to, to kind of get them in, but I just need the separate channel. And I really want to grow Hello Composers because it's, it's my heart is composing. So... Uh, this one would, this one, the make music income mastermind would focus on making income with your music and all the things, licensing, publishing, sales, producing income of any kind, sheet music, and all the things we talk about on this site, including stock, including sync, where you're on those journeys. And then one that focuses on composing, uh, maybe a little music theory, some music history, some songwriting ideas. And generally just what it's like for you that week to be living the life of a composer. That's the point of the mastermind groups. And so I know each of you have a weekly need. Each of you are here in this live right now, or you're coming and watching it later. You have a need, just like me, to talk to someone. And if you're here live, you're able to leave comments and in the chat. That's one reason why Steve's Academy or um, Dave's community or whoever uh, who runs these things is so valuable. You get this kinship of being with people. Now, in some ways you get it here with the live. You can chat and say, hey, good to see you, Ronan. Good to see you, Arco. But uh, this is something that is a little bit more than that. This is, um, this is a uh, accountability session as much as anything. We can talk to each other and find out, you, last week you said you were doing this. How is that going? And to me, that's a big part of the mastermind. It's not just listening to me babble, but you getting to babble a little bit about what's going on in your week. Uh, first hand and first knowledge about new things that I just found out today or yesterday. I can make these videos every Friday, but so much has happened in a week. So much happens tomorrow. And you won't hear about that next Friday unless I remember to think about it with Steve and I for our, our, our podcasts. We have stuff that happens the next day that after we record, before the podcast even comes out, we're like, man, we have to wait now to the next podcast and we have to remember to talk about that thing. And so having these uh, these weekly things where we can talk and I can give you what has happened over the weekend, almost like a recap of what's what I know now. Um, so all of those things uh, are, are part of the mastermind and I would love to get back to them. They are very much like this um, in a couple ways. They are interactive, and but they, yeah, it is also something that I do, and it only takes me one hour to do, and then it's over. I don't have to. I have to prepare a little bit for it, maybe make some notes, but I don't have to. And that's more of an outline, but I don't have to spend time editing. Uh, it's something that I can fit into my schedule, like I fit in a, a, a an individual coaching session. So it's a it it's a little like coaching, but it would cost you a lot less uh, over the long run. So a twelve week program is exactly what I was thinking about. So let me know if you're interested in that, and uh, and leave a comment. And speaking of comments, let's take a look at what people are saying here. Um, fate to face, maybe that's what I should call it. Fate to face. You're composing fate to face. I don't know. Uh, Shane Jensen says, I agree with you. A mastermind on composing would be great. Shane says, I think something to think about is what niche you do you want to fill that is not already occupied? Well, I don't know anybody else who's really focused only on make music on making music income. Everybody, there's lots of people who focus on licensing, lots of people focus on stock music, lots of people focusing on 
uh, lots of different things, but no one really focusing on all the things to make a music career, which is really the way you make a music career, folks. You don't make a music career by just doing sync licensing unless you were really focused on it, or stock music, stock music only for some, and I think we know who I'm talking about, makes them a full-time income. Um, and uh, even that is up and down drastically. And so um, that is something that, uh, that, I'm, that I think you have to uh, focus on is all the incomes because I couldn't make an inc- a living if I didn't have five, six, seven, eight incomes or what my friend Tom Dupree calls a small portfolio of bets because they're all bets. Stock music is absolutely a bet. You're hoping, you're betting on the fact that this work you've made and put in. Sync licensing is a bet. You're betting on the fact that you've put this music out there and you're hoping that it eventually will bring in money. Everything is a bet to some extent. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that is, and I think the the way I'm approaching my composer's channel is a little unique too. It's a niche that really speaks to... Um, beginning composers and so um and so um anyway um so uh let's keep going here um i can't do anything right now sorry live so um anyway um let's see here the pest control people just showed up and i can't do anything about it um so yeah getting into um the rest of what's going on here, um, I am really trying to figure out what continued, I, I continue to figure out Hello Composer's channel. I'm trying to really figure out where the, where the sweet spot is. That, and for me, the sweet spot for that is talking to composers who either are just starting or, or just need some continual help. Um, I think there's a lot of composers, and I know this from teaching at school, that are really, really needing help just getting started. They just need to know what chords to play. They just need to know where to put their hands on the keyboard. They just need to know uh, how to use the metronome, for goodness sake. They need help. So um, tell me what you think about that. Um, if, if, if those of you have think about the Make Music Income channel and where I'm at right now with all of this, Discord video chat, no thank you. Um, I know it has video chat, but that's not something I really want to do. I think this has to be a little bit more focused and more organized um, than that. So, um, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. We could do a weekly video chat there, but um, I, it, I, my time is just going to have to be paid for, Arco. Um, agreed separate. Yeah, thank you. Um, separate niche. Everybody says separate mastermind. Yeah. Um, Isomatic says, I am interested in a composing mastermind. That's something I've never seen or been in before. Yeah, and that the point of that would be to really just talk about um, ideas. And and the whole reason to have a, uh, a composing mastermind and talk to 12 people or less at the same time is that everybody can tell me your, your, your problems or, and your challenges with composing. And so that's something to me that uh, I, I really want to do. Uh, Jonathan says, I've seen these buy me a coffee buttons. Can you add that to your channels? I can. I actually thought about that. I saw that and that's pretty cool. Um, again, I'm, I don't, I'm not necessarily wanting to beg for money, um, on these things. And I actually do have another way that you can give that is, um, that is tax free that you can give to my, um, nonprofit organization. So I might uh, put that out there. Um, Jonathan says, I wouldn't be interested in mastermind classes or paying for an academy, but I'd sure like to buy you a cup of coffee every few weeks as I watch your videos. Well, thank you. I think you could do super chats in here. I don't even know how to do a super chat or anything like that. And I don't know if you can do it, um, which is the same thing, I believe, right? Um, I, as far as I know, that's on there, but I don't know. <laughs> Arco says, Eric loves tea, so maybe he will go with a buy me a tea button. <laughs> Buy a beer. That would also work very fine. Um, Ron says, I love the idea as long as it doesn't overwhelm you or take away any of your creative time. I do enjoy your current communities, but overall a great idea. Well, that's a good point because the whole point of this mastermind is to um, kind of wrap up consulting 
um, into one hour of my week and everybody can who wants that consulting can be part of this community or be part of the class every time it comes up it would probably be uh, limited to a certain number, amount of people for 12 weeks and then I would do it again with uh, new people or the same people whoever wants to be part of it um, and so to me that's that's a way that I can do this and, and it, that does help me keep my creative time set kind of like this live I do this from 11 to 12 ish and I'm done uh, for the day and and this video goes out and does its thing and I don't have to spend any more hours really on this after it's done except for maybe the timestamps which I think are important for people so believe me Ronan this is all uh, with the idea of making sure I keep uh, track of my uh, creative time uh, it's absolutely the whole point of this video really is why how why starting an academy probably won't work for me because of the time or how that um, working on um, uh, you know this these masterminds they have to fit into my schedule and fit logically into a day where I can do it so absolutely thinking about that Kellen says why are you spending two YouTube place channels instead of joining the content why do you compartmentalize so much you are the brand not the content for me as a usual it is not practical. I get that. Um, for me, that's I just have to separate them. To me, um, it, it's too much. Uh, I think channels can get junky if you're not careful, and there's enough junkiness in income making already. I think if I tried to put um, music composing tips inside the Make Music Income channel, it would just get too junky, and I have too many videos that I want to make just on income things. I have at least three interviews I've done with people that I have to I have to chop up and some left from Adam Ivy and some left from Jesse even that I need to con continue to make videos for on this channel and this is not I don't have time to do a daily vlog so um, the this channel is the Academy for make music income basically right now it's the information that comes out about making music income and so for me I have to do them separate I, I I think they're kind of tied together I think of them as sister channels you know one feeds the other and vice versa and so um, I think that um, uh, they are um, they are absolutely tied together as one but they're just on separate channels and when I start a new Hello Composers video that I think everybody will see. I mean, I, I make sure that every channel can see each other on the community. So that's just, I think, makes sense for me. Um, Catalyst says, regarding Academy, if it makes sense financially, definitely yes, but for most users, that would just be a paywall. Right. And uh, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't know, that doesn't necessarily um, interest me. Like I said, it's been a, it's been a journey and a discussion in my mind internally about how I, how I, monetize this channel and so far all I've been able to do is think about selling one ebook so still thinking about this so thank you for these these thoughts um, I need to Stevie B says he needs to buy me a beer button on his channel go ahead man everybody would buy you a beer I think the idea of the masterminds is interesting I'd like to know the rates in email yeah I'm still thinking about that uh, Tony Thomas, good to see you, man. Uh, if such an academy allows you to make music income, go for it. Well, that's part of it. I mean, again, it's trying to 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 uh, to make sure everybody is getting what they need. And um, I'm already making music income. I'm making a lot of music income from all of my music income sources. So, I guess the the thought would be to hope to make music income 100 percent from here again um, kind of replacing the the production stuff that I'm phasing out of and more based in composing and then teaching that's just basically where I'm I'm I've been headed for 10 years is towards a composer and educator rather than a producer and things like that and Shane says I have no problem paying for quality instruction private coaching and masterminds accelerate growth uh, that's absolutely and Shane Arco agrees and uh, Catalan says he would like to buy both of us a beer. <laughs> well, that won't be hard. I mean, uh, you know, one of us is in Florida. The other one's in Canada on the other side of the continent. So I'm sure we could find a place to meet up. 
um, everybody. All right, so let's move on here. Um, so there is another answer for all of this, for this academy uh, question, this this quandary of, of what to add. I could just keep it the way it is. I could just continue to do videos, build a following, uh, build my email list, build the Discord, keep doing these videos that I love to do, keep making eBooks and putting them out. I have no ch no uh, plan of stopping making them, uh, make courses. Um, I could continue to talk about new ways to make music income. Um, new video, I have, I have so many video ideas. Um, and if you know me, keeping, but here's the problem. If you really know me, um, or if you've watched this channel, you know I have a problem keeping things the way they are. The fact that I've been doing Friday Lives consistently for a long time uh, is, uh, is, is, a, is a miracle into itself because I like to switch it up. I like to do new things. I have new video ideas, new ways to make music income that I discover, new eBooks that I wanna write, new courses that I wanna make. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a whole other thing uh, to, to start new things. Um, you know, and, and getting back to Hello Composers. And I know a lot of you, uh, like Catalan says, why is there two channels? Well, the, there's two channels because I feel that there needs to. There's a, a new website coming for Hello Composers soon. Again, kind of a sister website to make music income. I considered for a while, Catalan, just so you know, putting the, uh, the Hello Composer site within the Make Music Income site. But again, there are going to be people who aren't interested in the whole income thing as composers. They are just composers. You don't know composers. Composers are not necessarily interested in hustling for dimes. They are interested in composing. Um, a lot of us who are on this channel um, are, are, are here to make music income, to figure out how to use our, get our compositions to make us money, to make us, especially to make us money, why we sleep and all that kind of stuff. But composers, true composers aren't just money hungry. A lot of them are educators. A lot of them are publishers. A lot of them are not looking for stock music tips. A lot of them are not wanting to put their music in film because they are making music for church or they are making music for educational purposes or they are making music for uh, events and they are serious composers or wanting to be. So I think there is a line and a difference that people who are, co some composers are not uh, necessarily, not that everybody doesn't want to make music income, but they, they don't always have to live in that space. They just need composing information. They need composing help. And so that's why Hello Composers exists. And, and go make sure you go there um, and, uh, and, and, and make sure you're subscribed to the site. It really would really help. Uh, the new website's coming soon. The, the first ebook is coming soon. So um, that's just the way I've decided to go. I, I just think they're different audiences and you have to be very careful with niches. And um, yes, I can use Make Music's income site and, and channel to bring people over to Hello Composers. But there's a lot of people on, Hello, on Make Music Income that might not be composers. I know that might sound weird, but there might be people who are artists. I hope that my artist uh, people grow, the people who wanna just put stuff out on Spotify and they don't have any interest in licensing. Believe it or not, folks, some people don't have interesting in, interest in music licensing. It's not their first thought when they wake up in the morning what library they're going to be in. So we have to think about the fact that this, uh, you know, this is not for everybody, this licensing and make music income channel. So I know it's wide net and it's a big channel. It's continuing to grow and I'm so thankful for that. But um, we have to remember that, you know, some people just don't require to, this whole income stuff, but they are composers and that's why Hello Composers exists. Um, all right, let me catch up on the chat here. Um, Stevie B wants to visit Romania. Shane says squirrel. Um, uh, Arco says, I've recently noticed the cover photo of Hello Composers is actually Eric. I thought it was Beethoven. Uh, it's actually Bach. It's a picture of Bach or a painting of Bach. And I just put my face on it because I'm a weirdo. 
Uh, Stevie B says, uh, and Catherine Dern does pretty well with buy me a coffee beer from what I've heard. Very good to know. Um, Catalin says, you, I think you are wrong about composers and income. There are a lot of mostly trash how to compose music channels and the competition is far greater on that side. Probably. Um, he says, um, continuing below. Um, Tony says, you should get on some of the Reddit groups and share your knowledge. I'm sure that will get viewers on Hell Composers. Good, good thought. I asked my daughter the other day, who was 30, I was like, do I need to be on Reddit? Tell me if I need to be on Reddit. And I know a lot of the people watching this um, are, are, are like, uh, maybe on Reddit. Maybe you're on Reddit. Uh, I always find it a bit trashy. I find it a bit hard to keep up with and look at. Maybe I just don't know how to use it that well. And I have the Discord, and so to me that works better for uh, talking to people. I get the idea of Reddit, and it sure seems like an old technology to me. I don't know why, but it just does. All right, and then uh, Ayustin Galia about the Academy. It will be the same principle as the one from David, Stevie B, and Jesse. Will it be a matter of new matter of context? I mean, like a professional musician and composer. Yeah, probably it would be something like that. It would be, it, again, I, I, I'm not sure the Academy is ever going to happen. I'm not sure this video is exactly uh, what I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I think the uh, Academy idea is something that, uh, what would be different in my Academy? Hmm, that's a good, that's a good question. Um, because I love all the things that Steve does. I love all the things that Dave does and Daniel does. I just think I can do all of those things outside an academy without a paywall, except the pay would be for the things that people need. I just, to me, that's what seems to make sense. Um, would love your thoughts on that. Reddit is easy to use. Okay, well, I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, problem with Discord over Reddit is finding old conversations. I guess so, yeah. Hey, Scott, thanks for being here today. Um, so let's talk about the final thing I want to talk about today as we, as we start to finish this up and, and, and say composing, uh, let's remember I teach, I have these channels because I compose and it's kind of like the point earlier from Ronan who says, I don't want to mess up your composing time and, and neither do I. That's the whole reason why I'm thinking about some kind of organized teaching, um, Paywall is not what the way I think of it, but some kind of organized thing that I can do for consulting for a lot of people without having to start a whole thing, a whole academy and all that kind of stuff. So let's remember, I teach because I compose. I have to pick things that I can do that are concentrated. These live videos are perfect because I can do them and when I'm done and I click off, I am done and I can move on with my day quickly. Um, they grow the channel because um, they they just you know people watch live and there's there's usually 50 to 100 uh, views by the time this video is over it's just of people who have come in and out and and they continue to grow as if especially if I edit out the front part and then these just feel like regular videos that I present each week um, there's no editing for me so it's good and so the mastermind is similar to that if I decide to start that if I just start a channel I mean I'm an academy, I would be endlessly working on courses for it, um, ideas for it, talking to people inside it. And like I said, I already have the Discord for that, that I can do if I want to. I can I can get to the Discord now whenever I feel like it. If I'm bored or looking at it and just want to talk about music or, or answer some questions, I can do it whenever. I'm There's no uh, monetary pressure on me to check that or people are going to quit that Discord. Um, so... The, the biggest problem for me is is keeping time for composing and then pitching. Um, I have a whole backlog, like I said earlier, of interviews and reviews of libraries. I have a great review of a library that you're going to want to see. And it's different than the stock libraries. It's uh, it, And it's so great. And they've already allowed me to um, get, go behind the scenes a little bit. So um, all of these need to be shot and need to be edited and need to be coming. So make sure you subscribe, by the way. If you're new to this channel, if you haven't been here before, make sure you subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, uh, make sure that you, um, uh, you, you're, you stay with me. 
these these videos are kind of coming off my brain. I do write a bit of a script here, but uh, composing always takes precedence for me and then uploading and pitching. And that's another reason why an academy probably might not work for me personally. Um, and then the other thought is an actual school. Maybe I could just build a school. But again, all of those kind of ideas, those pie in the sky academies or schools or uh, training uh, companies or whatever, uh, like uh, Catalan said, I have enough already. I have enough spinning plates. I teach all night at a, at a composing school on weeknights. I have my own composition. And then I have these two channels. And uh, I enjoy serving clients and I enjoy serving people. Um, and I enjoy doing these videos. But composing comes first to me. In my mind right now, I'm looking forward to any time that's coming up that I can work on my compositions and get them out. I just finished two the other day, thanks to the tropical storm, which we came through just fine here. But um, uh, I got a day, a little day off from school for for a night, and so I was able to finish some things. So, composing is my first thought, and I need to um, to con continue doing that, and that's why an academy or um, other things that might take up my time, and that's why I'm having to kind of. Um, maybe be careful with my coaching uh, activities. Now, um, Shane and I have been doing some coaching lately. I've been doing some coaching for some other people and I enjoy it and I still have time to do that right now. Um, and I still will probably keep that available. I'll just probably likely have to change the price for private consulting up a little bit um, and if we have the mastermind going because then people will be able to talk to me every week and uh, I might even include in that one private consulting session per month. So I don't know. I'm still I'm still kind of figuring this all out and seeing how that works and seeing what people suggest for that. Let's see what people are saying in the chat about that. Um, let's see here. Where did I leave off? Um, Stevie B says, Tony's right. We shouldn't be sleeping on Reddit. I had one post blow up there way back and it brought a lot of tons to the video. I regularly read Reddit posts too. All right, well, I'm going to have to check it out then and see if I can do that. Um, Catalan says, oh, the one thing people do not do is music reviews, what you did successfully, but talking about Dorian, no, sorry. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the uh, music reviews every Wednesday. So again, if you are interested in that, make sure you are on the channel, hellocomposers.com. I do that every Wednesday. And you can find out there how to send me stuff. Basically, just send to hellocomposers.com, hellocomposers at gmail.com, and send me uh, the songs you want reviewed. And I review about five or six every week, plus uh, talk about one of mine. Um, let's see what else here. Um, yeah. Hey, there he is, Andreas. Good to see you. Um, Scuppy says, true, not having the same as topics, not really designed for it. Uh, Tony says, would love to you to film some of your Nashville trips and sessions. That's something I've thought about for sure. Uh, Catalan says, definitely come and visit Romania. Oh, I wondered what that noise was. We're about to have a storm. I'm curious about the beast. So yeah, uh, he needs to do a, Tony, uh, Stevie, you need to do a whole video on your new Stevie Beast computer. Um, Tony says, Berkeley costs around 46000 a year. Perhaps a low-cost school would be a good idea. Um, yeah, there's a there's one I teach at that's very good. And uh, by the way, you can come be taught by me in person if you want to come to my school. Um, Murfreesboro Guitar says, I don't think it would be as overwhelming as you think. The Academy users will help each other by directing them to videos that could answer a lot of their questions when they post them. Community. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen that for sure. Um Rhett says, I think you are on the right path, ATM, uh, at the moment. I hope that doesn't mean automatic teller machine. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I right now I feel what I've been doing is working. I'm looking forward to this other ebook come out, coming out, and uh, and more ebooks, and then looking into this mastermind. Um, Arco says, I would love to meet you in person. Well, come on over, Arco. You can buy me a cup of coffee in person. Well, everybody, that's about all I have on here. Please like this video just to help it get seen more. I think um, people are are trying to to figure out 
ways to go. And so they get into academies like Steve's, they get into academies like Daniel's or, or, um, or, or Jesse's. And, you know, they are, they are trying to get into different things and, and trying to get into, uh, you know, different, uh, areas of, of, of knowledge. And so they, they enter these academies and they like to hang out with people. And so on our side, on the make music income side, I do these videos, I do these lives and I do the discord, but I think there is another level, whether it's an academy, an official academy or not, I think there is another level and it might be the masterminds. Maybe the masterminds will get me there. Uh, and, and I'll get there to that uh, whole, uh, community. But, uh, you know, I am, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next steps, uh, whatever it is, because I enjoy doing this channel and I enjoy talking to you guys. And I hope that you are enjoying everything too. Well, everyone, thanks for being here. I think it's about time for me to end this and move on. Um, and keep this rather short. I will have timestamps in the video at some point if you need to come back and listen to certain things. Um, thanks so much for all your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments below if you have thoughts and you're not here live. Would love to know what you're thinking about. Um, and everybody, thank you for being here. Jonathan, thanks so much for being here. Arco, as usual, yes, you can come buy me a tea anyway, anytime you want to. Stevie B, good to see you, bro. Um, even though I just saw you yesterday. Uh, Iso, thanks for being here. Everybody, uh, Shane, thanks for being here. Uh, Rhett, thanks for being here, appreciate you. And uh, everybody, um, loving to see you. Murfreesboro Guitar, thanks so much for being here. Uh, appreciate that. And everybody, have a great day. And, and <clears throat> if you have any more ideas about this, make sure you email me. Uh, email me if you're interested in a mastermind now. I'm, I'm willing to think about it. Uh, Mix Club says, I think it will come in time. You want to offer something good as always. So I think it will happen when you're ready. Yep. Catalan, thank you so much. Have a great day where you are. And everybody, have a good day. Gonna end the broadcast. Everybody wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye bye. Goodbye, Shane. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye.